Oh, come on. Jason Bright and his Oh, Jason man. Oh. God dang it, there's nothing I can do. For being a brain, you sure are stupid to get me glitz into. Oh, my God. Oh. I love Fallout and it's random glitzes that sometimes happens to you. Whatever, it's it's, it's fine. We'll we'll just we'll just we'll just reload right here. Nothing really got lost. Oh my god! For being a brand new server, it's stupid repeating the same line a thousand times. Oh my god! You got to be kidding me! At first, at first I thought it was a joke, like it was malfunctioning, but then it kept going on and on and on. Oh my god! Oh. Alright, let's speak to Dr. Mobius first. Okay. Okay. Um... How do I fix- oh, there it is, repair. Okay. Talk to him, did his little repair thing, found he wasn't evil, that's great. My frame rate's kinda going down, but it's fine, cause it's going back up. Wow, that really killed my frame rate for a second. Okay, well what we're gonna do right here, we are going to... Save, right here, in case he starts malfunctioning again. And we're gonna see if... We're gonna see if he doesn't glitch out this time. Well, well, look. Okay, you said a dick. Never realized Cloudy so much distress. I'm not. All right. Yeah, yeah. Fair compromise. That's okay. Let's see, let's make sure. Okay. It's definitely glitched. It's definitely glitched. Glad I saved. Okay. Awesome job, guys. Awesome, awesome job. And just, might, might be my fault, no. Okay, let's try some, uh... Some different options of talking, shall we? Exactly what you do if I don't not put me back in that cranial dungeon you call your head? Heavens forbid. That's a weird way to spell dungeon. <laughs> Once you're back in my head, I'll watch television. Lots and lots of television. You you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I could, and I'd follow it up with an alcohol and ant nectar cocktail every night. You're a monster! A deranged, self-destructive monster! Don't you want to be reunited? I thought you'd be happy. Oh. I'm not. Look at it from in your head. Um. Let's try this one. Overrated biological feedback. Believe me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat oozing hormones. Oh, here we go, finally, another thing. Speed 75. Isn't it just as true that you only feel this way because you're lacking those hormones? Probably. Hmm, I suppose you're right. That does call certain assumptions into question, doesn't it? How am I smarter than my brain? So, we're at an impasse. You can't feel what I feel, and I can't think the way you think. And that sounds pretty true. Indeed, quite the conundrum. How do you suppose we resolve it? I think we have to trust each other and acknowledge that we aren't complete if you're separated. Huh? Seems, seems very reasonable to me, uh, I guess. As long as he doesn't go into that glitz mode. I suppose there might be some advantage to that, yes. There's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy between us. So, what do you say, Brain? Swimming for one more wild adventure? Well, I suppose you've convinced me well enough. I'll rejoin your body if that's your final decision. Unfortunately, before we get to that stage of the procedure, uh, we have a problem. What problem? 
Even if I could settle myself back in your skull and reconnect all those pesky nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. What? Why is the frames going down? We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. Okay. My frames are going down really fast. There you go. Back back up to back up to thirty, okay. Good. What they promised to put us back together once I did what they wanted. And you believe them? Yeah. Really? I know you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but Really? What? I don't have any anything to disbelieve them. Find a way past the radar fence and the home of Harvey will be their playground. And that is assuming, of course, that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. Uh, you're part of me. I don't I know that you don't want to let that happen any more than I do. Well, I suppose I do miss those endorphin rushes when we save the day. Alright, what's the plan? <laughs> I wonder what he would say if you're like an evil character. If the think tank won't hold up, the, hold up their bargain, we'll make them. Let's go. I kind of like that option. What's this one? I'll handle the brains. You stay here. You'll be more useful outside my head. Mm, nah. I kind of want him back, like like right now, because I don't want to come back and get him. That'd be kind of annoying. We'll make them. Right. Look out, think tank. This brain is coming out of its jar. I suppose now that we're reunited, you'll want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts the Think Tank took from us. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the Sync's Autodoc can plug them back in no problem. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited. Wow. That was really odd. Your brain added. Um, I don't know if I want my original heart back, because these other organs seem pretty cool. I guess having my brain back means I can't not be crippled in my head, but uh, it's fine. I'll keep my spine and heart out, because... Who needs those things, right? You're my best friend forever. Uh, let's talk to Dr. Klein. I don't know why I was giving such low frames during that conversation. Because now it seems to be perfectly fine. Hey, stop moving around. Oh, I see you and your brain reached a compromise. How pleasant. I hypothesize after the indignant frequencies my receptors had uh, recepted, such a partnership-based conclusion would be low on the likely scale. Not with my speeds. Hmm, my brain told me the think tank needs to be stopped. Can you help? If I recall, I had a plan that was working, or whatever it was. I don't think it reached fruition. I would recall fruit if it had happened. I wasn't trying to kill them, just keep them out of trouble. What was that plan? Blast. I probably uh, wrote it down on the floor somewhere. Hmm, any tactics I could use? That will be difficult. It would be like fighting five scaled-down versions of me that have better depth perception. Eh, not too worried. And they have an arsenal of vivisectors, brain eel beams, and a rather nasty <laughs> that can make your atoms do a happy dance. Happy if dance. If you can survive those highly improbable odds and ends, then deceasing them is definitely an option. Although, I doubt killing them would do anything except make you feel better. Or let you brag to other humans about your primal violentness. Uh, you had a plan? Something ingenious and needlessly complicated, I expect. I may have already told you and forgotten it. I forgot I had forgotten pencils until one day I found one. Spent days studying its purpose before my memory circuit kicked in. Felt quiet silly. Quiet silly? Don't you mean quite silly? Okay, whatever. 
Uh, anything I can do to stop them doesn't require violence. Well, I kind of want to kill them if they betray me. But just in case they do betray me, I want to know how to kill them. Well, you could try and appeal to their humanity. <laughs> well, that's a tired cliche. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really, when they were humans, they weren't very good humans. Okay, how did I make them change their minds? Well, there's many things they have forgotten sitting in their bowls. Friendship, the thrill of discovery, love, masturbation, oh, the usual. Much like your brain, that. I am certain there is something you can spark within each of them. Memories, hormones. A wise man once said, the eyes do more than see. Make them see, if you can. Or, if not, you can always make them succumb to fear. <laughs> it certainly worked for me, for a time. Yeah, that's true. Then you came along, and bravery and or desperation trumped that little idea. Back to the drawing board, I suppose. Or is this the end? Hard to tell. Uh, scare them how? Oh, tell them I'm still alive. We had a nice chat, and we agree on a few things. That's true, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Or you could kill me and lie about it. Either way, it would be interesting. And if you are partial to lying and deception, well, you could tell them a ludicrous lie. The more over the top, the better. That's my experience. <laughs> They're more than a little gullible. Better make it convincing, though. Or it'll be the dissection table and vivisectors for you. And if you speak of me, please try and make me look good. I am Dr. Mobius, after all. Not some lab assistant teacher's aide. Okay. All right. No, oh, he doesn't sound like he needs to be killed. The, uh, goodbye part of our little chat, then. Uh, goodbye. Uh. I don't see any equations of, oh, these things. Alright, well, turns out Dr. Mobius wasn't as bad as a guy as he expected. He's just the druggie, I guess, who gets really angry. So we have our brain back, apparently. I don't know how it got back into us. Maybe we're carrying it around with us until we can actually put it back into our heads or something? I don't know. It looks like there's a possibility that the, uh... That the robots could definitely betray us. Oh my god, this is just like Portal 2 where we have Wheatley and it's like, Oh, he's our friend, he's so funny! And then they be betrays us right when you'd at least expect him to. I'm thinking the same thing happened here. Maybe that's where they got their inspiration from. They maybe got it from Portal 2, where it's like you had a friendly robot, Wheatley, and uh, he betrays you. And maybe that's what those robot scientists try to befriend you. Try to have you do you do your little chores for them. Hey, right away. And what do they do? They just betray you, maybe. More than likely, they're going to try to betray you, because it's not going to be much of a thing if they don't. Alright, I'm outside. Lag? Hello, lag. You wanna, you wanna get out of here? Okay, we're good. Um... Okay, let's see what our quests are. Old World Blues. Use a sink to retrieve your original spine. Don't really care. Use an auto dock to retrieve your original heart. Don't need it. Confront Dr. Klein at the think tank and end your imprisonment at the big mountain. Okay, so this is an end game. End game. End game. End game. Oh, well, you guys ready for this? I am. Um, there's a few more things, places to explore. 